really to support this channel, head down to the description below where there are affiliate pre-order links to new Transformers. Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here, another Transformers. This is going to be a comparison time review. I'm comparison, comparison, I'm comparison, oh my god. I am comparison, oh my word. I am comparing Legacy Goldbug with your Earthrise Netflix Bumblebee, Shattered Glass Goldbug, and of course your G1 Goldbug, plus other Transformers that is fine lying around here on my review table. It's going to be a short review. I'm not going over the transformation because we've gone this transformation many times. Very similar. Anything to do with cliff jumpers, hubcaps, uh, or bumblebees, anything like that. We have Transformers guy. I have reviewed this transformation. We have all done this transformation. It is just taking the Netflix Bumblebee mold, painting it a little more gold, and putting on a Goldbug head. So this is your gold bug right here. We have this head sculpt here, which is exactly the same head sculpt as we got on the shattered glass gold bug. The paint is just a little different. As you see the paint here, the blue goes further. Uh, the silver is less. And where this is silver, is just painted blue and the eyes change. For years, my camera won't focus on two. There it goes. It's like, there's two figures in the view. I don't know what to do. And so it's the same head. It's just the paint does throw it off. makes it look a little bit different. At a, at a glance but when you look at it you can really tell but yeah nice this one here is more done off the uh cliff jumper mold this gold bug and i was like why is it not the you know the vw but that is uh here with uh bumblebee now earth prize bumblebee here was a netflix uh, version this was a walmart exclusive uh this one here is the buzzworthy bumblebee which is now a target exclusive so the vw molds have now been exclusive to two different stores so it makes it harder for people to actually get a hold of some of these Transformers. So there is them next to each other, exactly the same mold, different colors of plastic, different head sculpt. Now this Bumblebee here is holding a weapon. I believe this weapon came with Target exclusive Origins Bumblebee. The Cybertronian alt mode version that was a Target exclusive in the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. Bug here comes with the traditional weapons that you'll get with all these figures. It comes with all the same things. It forms a big, huge cannon. And it also can perform the little treads for the water skiing. It all comes in pieces here. We got that piece here. We got some more of the things. I can't remember what they're called at the moment. But even like the uh, third party masterpiece type transformers, like Cliff Jump for them, called Hydrofoils, I believe what they call them. And you get these two guns here, which you can also. And all this combines to make that one long weapon. I'm not going to bother doing that on camera, but these just peg into his hands, and they do support blast effects. So, a comparison here, here's, like I said, Goldbug with Earthrise, Bumblebee, and Shattered Glass Goldbug. We'll bring in g1 gold buggy which was a throttle bot he had the pull back and go and it would drive off action feature very similar to the battle chargers that the battle chargers transformed on their own whereas the Throttlebots did not and next to earthrise optimus prime i'm a gold bug oh <laughs> that you are bubblebee where's cup i'm not gonna call my name now, but this is the proper way they want you to do his backpack per the instructions. Now, if you notice that the G1 uh, Throttlebot Gold Bug has the canopy ending this way, whereas this one's this way. So, what you want, if you want it to be more like G1 toy, pull this part out. Just turn it around. Peg it in. It's not stiff enough joint. And there you go. Now you have the G1S styled uh, backpack. It just adds a little more backpack to him. This goes a little more higher over his head. and But that one, G1, is high over his head as well. You compare the head sculpts here with the G1. Very, very similar to G1 Goldbug. Now, G, no, G1. Now, Goldbug in the animated cartoon actually had two different looks. He had this look here from the re Return of Optimus Prime. And then his G1 animation model was used in ACOM's The Rebirth. They just miscolored his uh, mask there to actually be a gold color instead of the silver color it should be. And here he is transformed into his alt mode. Very nice. Uh, you get the VW uh, logo here on the tires. And well, I thought you got in the front. We don't get in the front of the car. Just on the uh, tires here. Uh, silver paint here. Gold paint on certain places of the vehicle. Uh, some silver more paint back there. Uh, translucent black plastic, which I'm mean, fingerprinting the hell out of. Uh, not bad. You can attach everything here. I've shown all that off, and that will show it here. Uh, but if anybody has the, uh, I can't remember which one this is now. Uh, this little guy. This is the Bumblebee that was uh, oversized from New Ages Bumblebee. 
I can't remember which company made this now. I think it's KBB's uh, Hornet Agent is what this one's called. Uh, so this one's a more cartoon look. Uh, Bumblebee, but I was just showing it off in scale just as comparisons. G1 Goldbug thrown in right here. I need to get some new stickers. Uh, yeah, I'll peel it off. Uh, this is G1 uh, Goldbug. Hey, all his windows were just uh, stickers applied. Uh, nothing was applied back here. A very simplistic transformer. We had the action feature. You just pull it back. Let them go. Uh, they tried to do action features in some of the uh, Cyberverse figures, and I don't think they you know, implemented them very well. But G1 had some pretty weak ones as well. So this is some more of your comparisons. We'll bring in Huffer right here because he's right on my table. And why not? Thrilling 30 RC. So this is your Legacy Goldbug. Is if you like Goldbug, you're gonna to want to get this guy. Now he comes in a was it a four pack with Ransack and then uh, it's, I don't remember the names of their guys because they are still uh, tied into the box. Uh, I did open Ransack, which is a redo of Kickback, which I'll look at him. But he is actually actually based off an of original G1 toy as well as Goldbug was. So uh, I wanted them two out of the box. I didn't really care for the other two. That's why they're still strapped in. Not sure what to do with them. So this guy here, I do recommend picking him up if you want Goldbug. It just sucks that he's in a pack with other figures and it costs $73.99 at Target here in America. Uh, a little pricey if you want just one figure, but that's what they do. That's how they get you. Or they, they bring you in with one or two figures that you really want, and they'll just repackage some remolds of some other guys in there, and you're like, ah, screw them, but I guess if I want this one figure, but if you want to, you can always resell the other guys. So I want to say thanks for watching this review. It's just a quick little look at Goldbug, because everything Goldbug comes with, we've already reviewed a dozen times here on multiple channels across YouTube. Uh, it's just nice to have an actual Goldbug uh, redo transformer. Uh, I got shattered glasses because I wanted a gold bug. I'm not big into shattered glass, but I did like the color scheme on this. The black and the gold is really cool. And I want to say thanks for watching this review. Till the next one. Peace out.